Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can use Doodly to explain a complex topic. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Effective communication of complex information is essential in various fields, whether you're an educator, presenter, marketer, or content creator. With Doodly's powerful features and intuitive interface, you can create visually engaging videos that simplify and clarify complex topics. From animated characters and props to customizable backgrounds and text, you have everything you need to create compelling visual explanations. So where do we even begin? Well, obviously you need to have a topic. So today I'm gonna to pretend that I'm running a physics camp for kids, right? And I want to kind of explain, you know, what is physics? Because it seems like this really complicated thing, you know, what is it? So we just want to really simplify the topic for them so that it, it seems interesting and engaging and something like, hey, yeah, I want my kid to go to this camp this summer to learn about this. So of course, it all starts with a script. My goal today is to have just a short little thing that breaks down what physics is in a fun and engaging way and ultimately get them to sign up to go to the Acme Physics Camp. So I have my two columns here, my audio on the right, and then just some ideas for the visuals on my left. So now let's get building. So here I am in the main dashboard. I'm going to click create new video and I'm going to give it a title, Acme Physics. I do want a whiteboard. And today let's go for the glass board effect. That's a, a different look. And let's make it a square. So I'm gonna choose the Facebook and Instagram and it just turns it into a square. While we're setting it up, let's go to settings, video settings down here in the lower left and see this is your glass board hand. So the hand is facing us. So we're looking through a glass board at it. And I want something you know, maybe a little scientific looking, like a white lab coat almost. So I'm gonna take this one, hit apply. Now I did like that blackboard with all the formulas on it. So I had uploaded that just a, a while ago. So I'm gonna use it again. And I will show you how to import your own graphics. So all I'm doing now is just kind of stretching it out so it fills the screen. And then let's find the square. This one here is an enterprise square. I do have Doodly Enterprise. So I'm gonna use that and I'm just gonna use it to put my title in. And let's use a fun font. We're trying to make this really engaging and accessible to kids. So a fun font might help. And I think we'll do word graph. So now I've clicked on the characters tab and I typed in the word thinking or think. And now I have our characters looking like they're quizzical. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and add our voiceover. So click the sounds tab and I'm gonna upload my recording. I already recorded it. So I click the little blue and white plus sign and I browse for my files. Here it is. So now I just drag and drop it into place. Now I need to do some housekeeping, so I'm going to change the duration and delay times of some of my assets. And then I also want to change the way they're drawn on. So let's just take a look at what we have real quick. Physics is a bit like being a detective, but for the whole universe. <laughs> so now that I have my voiceover in, I notice something. I'm answering what is physics before what is physics is actually drawn. So I'm going to move my voiceover down. I'm going to make an executive decision here. Didn't really like the glass board effect on this scene because, you know, it's black. So that doesn't work for the glass board effect. So what I can do is I can go to scene settings and I want to just change it just for this scene. So I'm going to turn this one off. So I'm not going to use the board and hand style from video settings, which we set just a few minutes ago. I'm not using that. So I'm turning that off. So I, I need to hit whiteboard instead of glass board and choose a hand that works. Okay. And then I said something about, it's like being a detective. So go to props. 
detective. Okay, so magnifying glass, that might work. All right, we're gonna turn our, oops, we're gonna turn our girl into a detective, so bear with me. One of the things I love about Doodly is if you can't find exactly what you have in mind, you can bring in your own graphics. So I went over to Freepick and I was searching for a detective hat and I found this one. I think this will be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and download it and bring it into Doodly. And I need to do a little bit of work here on the hat because it's not quite ready. So I'm bringing it into Pixelmator Pro. I have my little color selection tool and I just want to get rid of the background and the shadow here I need to get rid of because it's going to go on my character's head. And then I need to get rid of the words here. So I'm just going to go ahead and crop it, apply, and I'm going to export it. So I'm back in Doodly. I'm in my props tab. All I have to do now is click this plus sign and let's drag it in. It might be a little too big. Let's see. Nope, it's just fine. So that's perfect. And now let's flip it and resize it. And I had deleted my magnifying glass. I think I'm going to bring it back in. Now I'm going to click my little pencil icon and I'm going to choose fade because I don't like how it scribbles on. And I'm going to just make it fade on pretty fast. And this can draw on, that's fine. Maybe two seconds. And now I have a couple of seconds here. It's like three seconds before my next scene. So go to scene settings and you can add three seconds, however many you need. Let's add a new scene. So it's going to talk about, you know, when you throw a ball. So I need somebody throwing a ball. I think we'll do a basketball. Let's type an arrow. Oh, we have a fridge. Okay, perfect. So let's throw this in here. And then we want a magnet and maybe it would be fun to have a ball magnet. So let's go back to ball and we'll choose a slightly different one. So it doesn't look like it landed there. So let's try a baseball. We don't have a lot of time on this scene. Let's just see. Oh, well, when you oh, throw, when a, you ball, throw a ball, it comes it back down. down. Or when a or magnet, magnet sticks, sticks to your fridge. fridge. Physics, Physics helps, helps us understand, understand why, those, why things those things happen. happen. That takes way too much time. So the fridge cannot draw on for three seconds. Then let's just take some text. Okay, so all we need to do is add just a couple seconds to the end of this scene and move on to our next one. So we're going to talk about the rules called laws of physics. How light works, why things fall, and what makes the stars shine. I kind of like the street light there. Might even make it so the light is shining on the laws of physics. Like so. Might look kind of cool light and then how things fall. You could do a feather. Again, we're going to need an arrow. I think my little hand drawn arrow would be good for this one. Let's just see. I'd like some shining light here from our little light post. So just bear with me. The thing is, is I only want this bottom half to show. So I'm going to show you a little trick here. We are going to make the light post and the shine already in place. So they're going to be at zero duration. And I'm going to find a white rectangle or white square. just a white box. This is something I imported and I'm going to use it to cover up those rays that I don't want. So I'm going to put it and notice how now it's blocked those rays that I don't want. I'm also going to make that zero seconds. So the light is shining on the laws of physics. So next we're going to talk about them being explorers. So we have Janet looking through the magnifying glass. I think she will be a good representation here and we can just bring her in. Now this word gets a little lost here. So what I'd like to do is copy and paste it. And I'm just doing that little shadow technique that I showed you the other day. So I'm going to take the bottom one and I'm going to hit the gear and I'm going to turn its opacity down to maybe 50% and then I'm going to turn its color to gray and hit apply. So now I have a little bit of a shadow and then I can kind of use my arrow key to adjust it a little bit. One last scene and this one is going to be our logo. To upload your logo, you go to props 
little white plus sign. So I'm going to drag it in. I'm going to click the little pencil button and let's make it fade on. And then we could add our URL. So finally, the last thing we want to do is add some music. So go to sounds, click music and find one. Let's just get with it. Uh, I need to make sure that I'm have my playhead in the proper position. I'm just going to drag it into place and it's going to be too long and it's going to be too loud. So go ahead and click the speaker icon and then we just need to turn it down. I like to go to about 10% or so and then it's too long. So let's go to the end here and you just shrink it down right there and then right click fade out stretch the fade a bit. So let's take a quick look and then we'll be done. Physics is a bit like being a detective, but for the whole universe. It's all about finding out how things work and why things happen. You know when you throw a ball and it comes back down? Or when a magnet sticks to your fridge? Physics helps us understand why those things happen. Rules called Laws of Physics explain things like how light works, why things fall to the ground, and even what makes the stars shine. Physicists are like explorers, using these laws to solve mysteries and learn more about our world and space. It's like a grand adventure to discover how everything around us really works. Want to learn more? Sign up for Acme Physics Camp. And there you have it. Using visuals like this in Doodly is a great way to break down complicated topics even something like physics. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.